So next up on the chopping block for unit reviews is LR Pajama Beerus. And I've been using the little Dokkan info website to go backwards to talk about uh, a bunch of units from the past. So we're going to be slowly moving backwards. I feel like we're on good pace. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, Pajama Beerus. Let's see what we got here. So he comes out during the ninth year anniversary. And we're not talking about his pre-easy inside this video because I feel like it's a nothing burger. And he just about stays... Uh, and it's pretty easy eh, for like less than two weeks on both versions so i feel as if though it's not really worth talking about his pretty easy eh, because of course for that specific reason so uh pajama virus um this guy uh just another failure of a uh, free-to-play headlining anniversary lr uh, because we have not gotten anything great since lr master roshi i will continuously repeat myself we have not gotten an lr that has been as dominant as master roshi since then we have it the Hybrid Saiyan Trio for the 7 year anniversary sucked balls. The uh, LR Bobbity little standby Majra Vegeta for the 8th year sucked balls. This guy sucked balls. So it's been 3 whole years since we've gotten a great headlining free to play LR. Uh, so with that being said, let's see what he is looking like. Um, I don't exactly remember why he's bad, but I feel like once I read his kit, it's going to pretty much remind me of why he is. So, his leader skill is Planetary Destruction 3 key and 120% across the board. And uh, he has no super attack effects because, of course, this is him sleeping. He's unable to attack, and he gets 200% defense baseline, and he gets 50% damage reduction. And each time the turn passes, he loses 10% damage reduction, no more than 50%. So, this guy's just losing all his damage reduction. And all allies get 40% attack during the character's attacking turn. Cool. And uh, all allies will get an additional 10% attack up to 30% attack with each start of each turn. Nice. So he can give up to, what's that? That's up to 70% attack. Cool. And he changes physical key spheres to rainbow key spheres. That is nice considering that it's from one type key sphere. Can't really complain. Rainbow orb changing is valuable nonetheless. And he gets 50% defense per key sphere obtained. Now, um, I don't know what's going on here, Dokkan, but we can fix this card it's very easy to fix this card how about how about listen and i don't know if the okan is open to oh, excuse me akati and bandai Namco. i don't know if you guys are open to suggestions but uh let's go ahead and start this card out with 80 percent damage reduction and it's sleeping form right start him out with 80 percent damage reduction and let him lose up to 30 percent damage reduction that way he'll have a baseline 50 percent damage reduction to fall back on that, coupled with the fact that let's give him up to 300% defense of the start turn rather than 200% defense. Let's go ahead and let him uh, give all allies, granted they don't want to let him uh, support with key. Let's give all allies 40% attack and defense and let him build up to, uh, I don't know, 60% attack and defense. And let's also uh, let him just be an unrestricted rainbow orb changer. Let him randomly change key series of a certain type to rainbow. Why not? And then keep that little 50% defense where Keyser obtained. And I feel as if though that almost fixes him. Because what we have here is, 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 is ass. I mean, it's, it's just come on now. And his awake condition uh, wakes from slumber and for one turn directs enemy attacks towards the character. Can be activated starting from the fifth turn from the start of battle. And it's a fifth turn, bro. <laughs> so you're going to lose all your damage reduction just to go into the awakened version. I feel like this card could very easily be fixed. Very easily. Because this guy just loses all his damage reduction, gives up to 70% attack support. Um, Rainbow Orb change from one specific type key sphere, as well as getting 50% defense from key sphere obtained. I feel as if this card could have easily been fixed. Absolutely. Um, does that fix him? Let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, let's see what he's looking like in his awake form. All right. So he does get super attack effects now. And of course, he um, has attack buffs and all the other good stuff. So it's 12 key, that being Cataclysmic Orb, extreme, of course. 50% attack for one turn and seals. Um, I don't know why he's not getting defense. They could at least give him 30% defense with his 50% attack for one turn. But hey, whatever. And his 18 key, that being God of Destruction's Recreation, or Recreation. Uh, <laughs> might have said that wrong. 50% attack and 30% defense for one turn and greatly lowers attack. Why couldn't we just do this for both super attack effects? Why? 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 Dogon. Dogon. Um, and... Okay, his passive, uh, Spine Chilling God of Destruction, 3 key and 200% attack and defense of the star turn, cool, they could have bumped it up to like 3 key and 300% attack and defense, but hey, whatever, uh, and uh, he gets an additional 3 key and 50% damage reduction from his entry turn, nice, and he gets 1 key up to 7 and 11% attack up to 77% reach attack received, okay, that's probably what I remember being ass, 
and he gets additional 100 percent attack and defense with three or more keys is obtained and he gets 30 uh, percent damage reduction with five or more keys is obtained and he has a 50 percent chance to crit starting from the turn in which his character takes the seventh attack in battle let's go ahead and take this and turn this into a 50 percent chance to dodge absolutely we do not care about a free-to-play lr doing damage we don't we we, we don't um unless um you are specific free-to-play lrs um this guy is not specific specific replay of ours no turn us into a 50 percent chance to dodge let this guy have uh, just a baseline 50 50 damage reduction and remove this 30 percent damage reduction with five more keys to obtain yeah and how about this how about remove this and if this guy does i don't know or maybe if he takes attacks maybe if he takes like i don't know no 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 we can't do that how about if he does uh two attacks he builds up damage reduction within the same turn. How about letting him build up damage reduction within the same turn with his 50% damage reduction? I feel like that could work out. Let him have unrestricted 50% damage reduction and let him build up to 20 or 30% damage reduction within the same turn. Why not? I, is anybody complaining about that? And then buff up his defense to 300% attack and defense. And let him gain defense on his 12 key. No? Because he's already getting 100% attack and defense with three more keys just retained. Cool. That, that'll help out. But... Bro. So what's the problem here? Um, let's go over to his uh his little pre-awakening. Um, so what's the problem here is that he is uh losing all his damage reduction. Cool, he's gonna have up to 50% damage reduction uh at the start of the turn. But as the turn goes on, this guy could be a liability th throughout the fight. Honestly, he really could because he's not supering, he only has 50% damage reduction. After that turn passes, guess what? His damage reduction is gonna be much more lower. Cool that he's supporting and cool that he's creating rainbow orbs and getting defense for keys are obtained, but guess what? Um, what team are you running this guy on to get this defense per key obtained and putting him within the first or second slot for him to get that defense per key obtained? Um, Roman Gods, probably not. Siblings Bond, no. Worthy Rivals, no. Bond, Master and Disciple, no. Space Traveling Warriors, possibly not. Planetary Destruction, hell no with all the Broly's running around. Uh, Legendary Existence, I, I, I guess. Uh, Super Bosses, hell no. There is no space. Is there almost no space for this guy in any of these teams? Uh, Worthy Rivals, no. Um, Legendary Existence, probably, no, no, isn't UI running around in there, no, no, hell no, this guy sucks, he sucks, is he at 30% damage reduction on the turn he comes back, <laughs> the fuck is at 30% damage reduction when he comes back, all right, um so yeah um he what's cool is that he's giving up to 70 percent attack support rainbow orb changing that directly supports his uh defense per keys are obtained but the problem is, is that you do not want this guy inside the first or second slot you just don't you don't you don't you do not because there is no way if this guy does not get enough key spheres he is getting touched all the way up and god forbid he takes a super he's dead he takes a normal he's probably dead too and do keep in mind he can't attack um so uh, pre-awakening just garbage or garbage or either or i want to say it uh we go over to his post awakening <laughs> um no defense on his 12 key um i, I would honestly I wish that he had additional super attack chance as well as, or, or guarantee super attack built to him because let me tell you guys this after that first turn um it's cool within the first turn he can get up to 80 percent damage reduction nice but the problem is, is that after that next turn granted that you survive within those first five turns to get this guy to awaken um the problem is is that after that turn um he's he's cooked because all the defense he has is right here for those three key spheres and right here start a turn attack defense above so realistically um you got to get five key spheres you always have to get five key spheres with this guy and why is he not rainbow orb changing to help him get those five key spheres why did they not keep this from his pre-awakening why why all right and then building up a <laughs> does he really need a 50 percent chance to create after receiving the seventh attack seventh and does he need to build up the key build up is nice but building up 11 percent attack up to 77 percent why is that not 11 percent attack and defense up to 77 percent why <laughs> um so this guy wants five keys for us all the time pretty much yeah his link set godly power prodigies connoisseur the innocence shocking speed shouting the limit uh legendary power and his categories realm of god siblings bond worthy rivals bond and master disciple uh space traveling warriors planetary destruction legendary existence and super bosses um so L lr cmz or corrupt murders masu why the hell is his name not changed but this guy's is 
Okay. Um, 200% leader skills that he's on. Let's see. His 200% leader skills. Um, you're not running him on any of them. Um, no. Hell no. And no. <laughs> um, best link upon her is the T Walk to his LR, the AGL World Tournament Beerus, the little uh, sub easy, I believe. I think he's a. Does he have a sub easy or a base easy? I don't remember. Um, but the best link upon her is himself, bruh. <laughs> As if you're running double pajama bureaus or feet bureaus because they decided to detail the life out of those feet. Good lord, look at those feet. I don't have a feet fetish, by the way, guys, I promise. <laughs> um, so four keys, 65% attack, 17% defense, 7% HP, and 5% chance to crowd. I hope no one takes that out of context, too. <laughs> I'm just memeing, guys. Just memeing. But yeah, that's about it. Um, He sucks. Yeah, um, Roshi um, continues as uh, just the greatest free-to-play headlining LR ever. Yeah, because uh, Hybrid Saint Trio, ass, from the 7th year anniversary. Uh, let's see, um, Bobbity and the standby Montregita, ass. And this guy, 9th year anniversary, ass. And then prior to LR Master Roshi, uh, the Zamasu Goku, he gets a pass. Experimental. He was the experimental LR EZA. He gets a pass. He's garbage, of course. You're straight, straight garbage. But um, he, he gets a pass. So, so that's about it. Um, pajama beers, doo doo. They're just butt cheeks, uh, trash. Um, garbanzo beans. That's it. Yeah, he doesn't fit on any of the category teams he's going to be on. Are you running him on any of those two hundred percent leaders? Goes hell no. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.